How much froth is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and if you are the one to kill my hardcore Iron Man, you will receive the bounty on screen. Since of the father, we need 62 wood cutting, so let's start working here. 61 wood cutting, and 62 wood cutting, and 60 fletching. We, we now have all the requirements necessary to start Sins of the father, so my plan now is to not do the quest. I'm gonna do a quest that's much more difficult. I'm gonna complete Demon Slayer. One of the toughest quests in the game. And that is the Demon Slayer completed. I had to complete it to start the Lumbridge Guide. I want some upgraded gloves here. Lumbridge Guide have been completed. Addy gloves have been upgraded. Beautiful. And there we go, Shadow of the Storm have been completed. We can now start this part, Evil Dave. Another spicy tooth to a spicy man, Evil Dave. Bam! Evil Dave have been completed. Look at that, Rune Gloves! The Rune Gloves doesn't look as newbie as the Mithril Gloves, so very good upgrade. So I'm currently going for Death Plateau quest for Desert Treasure. And there's a part here where I need to bring a full inventory of trout and bread. So if someone catches a TB here, you know, it's, it's a scary moment. And it's done. Okay, it wasn't that scary. And that's another quest completed, Death Plateau. Oh, there's a scout here. I want bespoke post. Did the scout just say she wanted bespoke post? Well, luckily for her, this video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering boxes of top shelf items from under the radar brands. You can find anything like outdoor equipment, home and kitchen goods, clothing, barware, and much more. 90% of the products in the boxes are from small businesses, many of which are based in the US. The item I have used the most is the shop box. This makes it so much easier to cut frozen meat whenever I'm cooking. So based on your preferences, you will get a box assigned to you, and before it's shipped, you will get a preview you of what's to come inside to decide if you like to one keep it or two swap it for a different box or three skip the month entirely for no charge and if you're interested in bespoke post you can get 20% discount off your first box just click the link in the description down below and enter C engineer 20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash C engineer 20 decided to complete another quest instead tears of Guthix. Uh, I'm doing this quest for one reason and one reason only I want to get runecrafting levels and this is the best way to get them. And there we go, 129 water collected. Uh, we started at, I think it's 13 runecrafting. We're now 19 runecrafting, plenty of levels. I decided to get 65 cooking. We can now make pineapple pizza. The pineapple pizza, they heal 22 more than shark seals. And it's very easy to make. I'm still looking for the tank legs from barrels here. And of course we're never lucky, yep. Oh my god. I was so slow with that teleport. A another barrel chest this morning for absolutely nothing. Alright, another 17 gem bags here coming in. Plenty of uh, dragon stones, nice. 65 crafting. And that step to the Dorkshen completed. I did not know it took me here. I should have completed this quest much earlier, but I decided to do it now. And what's so good about completing this quest, I have now unlocked Dorgeshen. The Dorgeshen area. And in this area, I can trade in my long bones and my curved bones for construction experience. Look at that, 58k construction experience and 14k cash. Uh, beautiful, we get 56 construction. There we go, Eyes of Glofry have been completed. Look at that, 6k runecrafting experience should give us 27 runecrafting. We can actually now complete the Lumbridge Diary, which is the reason why I did this quest. But we also got a crystal saw, which I'm also gonna be able to use right now. We're supposed to create a lava room, right? There we go. And that is all Lumbridge and Drainer medium diary completed. And there we go. We got an antique lamp here. Beautiful. We're gonna use that on Herblore. Uh, such a slow skill to train up. But there we go. 64 Herblore. And then we go to our house. We lock our house. We can build ourselves a lectern. We're gonna remove the old one build ourselves a teak eagle lectern and now we can make tablets to camelot rd 
Verok. Yeah, I think Camelot is the new one which I like to make. So I decided to get myself 60 smithing here. I don't really like this call fight cave, but I gotta do this later task. Let's smalt it. And by the way, my private have been on for the last couple of months. And I feel like I can say that I'm permanently private on once again. Oh, and that is the task completed. We can now get out of here. 60 points. 460 tasks and we're 83 thieving and 1500 total level huge level we actually reached 1500 here we go 66 attack and 87 combat uh, as you can see in my inventory they have updated most of the keys now so they are stacked in the inventory good job jagex all right we got four bright photo kills coming up first one we get cosmic runes chaos runes chaos runes all right Yes, Rune Chain Body, 30k high health. <coughs> That's another cooking level, 66. Alright, another chest. Oh, double I double shit dupe item. I got both of these items. <laughs> no! What? Jagex! No! I'm actually so upset about this. Dupes of bad items. So sad. Are we getting that back to back? Never ever ever lucky and here it comes the six hour log there it is Six hours. I just realized the Derek's helm and the staff are dupes. So I'm just gonna high up them boom 60k Boom another 50k. So yeah 100k right there easy how much for a bow we're gonna make a bow here 900k for a crystal weapon bow i've been thieving a lot for this bow and there we go we got a crystal bow 900k and now i am a poor man i want to get myself a second fire cape and sacrifice it to the inferno guy so i can enter the inferno so it's time for me to go in look at my supplies here a little fun fact, I deleted the clip of me getting the fire cape, but as you can see in the chat box, I did complete another fire cape in 2 hours and 30 minutes. Blah 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 blah. Sacrifice fire cape? Yes. And it's gone. We can now enter the inferno without a problem. Whee! He splashed! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my heart! My heart! What happened? Oh Jesus! Did you see his gear? Full ancestral? That's the build I'm afraid of. Okay, I can thieve in peace now. There we go, 84 thieving. Look at the guy who almost TB'd me. Look at his gear! He's got... It's maxed in all stats, 66 HP just to be as strong as possible just to kill me. Insane build. And he was there. He was waiting there. <laughs> okay. If I'm completely honest, if someone just camps Lumpy Basement every now and then, uh, whenever I'm online, they will easily get a chance on me because I come down here all the time and buy grapes. There we go. Another kill. Please, no one here. Good. Bucket. Nothing. And this should be giving us a level 77. Farming. A crafting level 66. I'm, I'm actually falling asleep doing this. 20 laps in. I, I, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm never getting agility up. Never. Never. It's not happening. No, 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 no. 67 cooking. I realized that I never really claimed my climbing boots, so here we go. Climbing boots. 12 GP. Plus 2 strength. Alright, we're back at barrels. Give me, please, tank legs. Sad. I decided to AFK this lesser demon while watching some Twitch and now I am 78 range. 79 range. 80 range? Decided to do some rune crafting and there is only one method of choice when doing rune crafting. And it's right here, Tears of Gothix. 27 rune crafting, we're now 31. To four levels. It's another chest, we need some blood runes, I'm getting low. Thank you. Oh my, hello. <laughs> Was he reading the manual for Barrows or something? Nothing. So I have started this quest, King's Ransom, a very scary quest. This quest is very scary because in one part of the quest, I'm inside a room and if someone waits there with a tell block on me, there is no escape for me. And there we go. Oh my god, King's Ransom have been completed, yes. 
I accidentally deleted the recording for the basement part, but no one was there, so very lucky. We get a lamp here as well, Herblor. 5k experience to Herblor. Alright, this should be the Night Waves Playground completed. There we go. 80k experience in various skills. And we can now use these prayers once we get 60 and 70 prayer. Uh, beautiful, we do like that. Thank you very much. See you later. With King's Ransom completed, we now have to start getting our prayer up. We need that 60 prayer for chivalry and that's 53 prayer. 54 prayer. 78 hit points. 81 range. 82 range. I need some orange spices. I need to upgrade my altar in my POH. Alright, we got four orange spices. Should potentially be enough. Let's drink the first one. Ooh, we can make the burners. Beautiful. Uh, I'll just send this one. There we go. 55 prayer and I guess I'm out of bones <laughs> we got one level now that I'm 55 prayer I still need five more prayer levels to unlock chivalry and there's three main popular ways to get prayer up kill dragons for dragon bones kill and sold creatures for prayer experience or catch dragon implings for dragon bones and since I'm lazy I decided for the last one catch dragon implings and the best place to do it on PvP worlds is at raids 1 What? Oh my god. He's not splashing. Oh my god. I'm gonna blow up. Get out. Did he guess the correct one? I gotta go. Five, five, five. I gotta run. God. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! And there's a dragon impling here. I need to catch the dragon impling. Oh my! I survived that. I can't believe I survived that. And I went here to get the dragon impling. Oh my fucking God! Oh my god. Dude, I'm shaking. I mean, why is there a dragon ampling? I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Actual tank this to Oh my god, yeah. yeah. Where's the dragon ampling? I can't believe I survived that. Good tank this from me. Oh my god. Come on, dragon ampling, please. Okay, now. Give me the dragon ampling. Oh, please be worth all that time. All that effort, please just give me the dragon bones. Glory sad. Uh, okay. Okay, it's Tom from the future. It is time for us to review what just happened here. Firstly, the AGS Gmal, he hits 48-0 on my 78 HP. According to Pimpact Ralph, his max hit with the AGS is 78 which is my HP so first ages was a chance then he hit a zero G mal on 35 HP Which is a second chance so he had two opportunities right there to kill me And after that you probably noticed how I went with the minecart to raids and then disappeared and went to another location In my honest opinion I thought he would instantly come to raids one second after me So I wanted to dodge him and try to get a log out But uh, unfortunately for me I went to the location which he had misclicked on so he got another freeze on me, but luckily I managed to escape that so the ending was good Just an unfortunate decision of me to do that 
And that's where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. The bounty have increased by a lot this episode. 10 mil plus 5 mil plus 10 mil plus 30 mil plus 10 mil plus 2 mil plus 10 mil plus 5 mil plus 10 mil plus 26 mil plus 10 mil plus 200 million. Putting the bounty at 8 billion 602 million. Good luck gamers. What a crazy episode. It was like three hours since I did that tank test. I almost died. I'm still shaking a bit. Uh, but almost dying on my hard crime and it's not gonna stop me from injecting you guys with some Swedish culture. And today we're gonna talk about Swedish snus. And just a disclaimer, this is bad for you. This is bad for your teeth, your health, your mouth. It's addicting. However, 25% of the Swedish population, male population, are using this. So I feel that it's necessary for me to win one episode, one cultural episode, to talk about the Swedish snus. Snus is a product that became very popular in Sweden in the 18th century. It's a small bag of tobacco that you place under your upper lip. I snus very rarely, but when I take one, I kinda get the same dizzy effect as a few glasses of alcohol. But of course everyone have a different experience. And this is the first and the last time I'm going to talk about snus on this channel since it's a very bad product. And if you did enjoy this video and are happy that I'm still alive on the hot cryer man, give the video a like and I'll see you very very soon. Goodbye.